guys, this is Ashraf. So this is the video about the assembly of my original Prusa i3 Mark II to original Prusa i3 Mark III. I have the full upgrade kit which has arrived today as well. I made a video earlier. Do check that out about the unboxing, what's inside there. Um, yeah, this is about the upgrade from Mark II to Mark III. I already printed the manual. Let me get the manual a little bit. So yeah, this is the manual. We found the disassembly guide. This is the thickness of the manual for the Mark III assembly, half an inch, I think, close to 20 millimeter in thickness, printed in double-sided. This will come later after I disassemble the whole printer on what I really need to do. So, I briefly reviewed what I need to procure from the old Mark II over here which is on step 14, final check over here, all of the motors, um, two bearing housings, which is, I think, the idlers over here, extruder springs, I think I'm going to get the one that I stored inside the box for the stock Mark II, LCD with the cable, cover and knob, I don't need this cover and knob, um, because I already have one that is that has been supplied with along with the printed pass supplied as well and new bolts I'm going to take out from this this printer as well so let's get started in disassemble everything over here since I have a MNU upgrade um, I don't have to disassemble this extruder unit except I need to disassemble this the X, Y, Z both of the Z axis and as well as the extruder here but I'm going to fetch the start spring first is it inside here? let's check Spring, spring, spring. Oh, yes. There, this is the spring, and I'm going to put back the spring from the MMU unit back to where it belongs. So, on Mark 3, I won't have any multi material printing anymore, but however. I do have ordered the um, multi-material unit upgrade kit from MMU 1.0 to MMU to MMU 2.0, which is I guess you guys already seen that, but I'm going to put that in the description below as well, link to the video. So, yeah, just enjoy the video alongside with the...
self test Egg, the nozzle is in the air and where is it calibration I guess okay let's go through I think it's better to go through wizard Hi, I am your original Prusa i3 printer. Would you like me to guide you through the setup process? Yes. I will run the self-test to check most common assembly problems. Self-test start. Okay. Excluder. Okay, print fan. Okay, I guess. But it's making some kind of noise. Checking the hot end. So, for the whole assembly process, including the disassemblyment of the ah, it's moving. It's so silent. Now for the Y axis. So starting on the Mark Three, there are no more end stops for the X and Y axis. No more end stop because we are using the dynamic nap drivers. Checking for the belt tension, I guess. Now on the Y axis. Oh yeah, about the dynamic drivers, it has the sensors of the skipping steps. So upon reaching the edge of the at the end of the axis, basically the motor skips its steps and what the trinamic driver has, that feature is to detect the, um, the steps being skipped and as well as will register that as a homing process. Now heating up the pad, it's hot, the LED is on over there. So, um, I guess I got a few complaints about the assembly process. Uh, first of all, the hardest part is um, the extruder. The extruder cover at the back over there. Um, that's not the hardest part. The hardest part is actually the extruder cable going through the INC Rambo case over there which is very hard and took me about 15 to 30 minutes just to get the whole of the spiral wraps okay it's complete i will run xyz calibration now it will take approximate 12 minutes okay calibrating z axis i guess it will go up all the way to the tower to the top printed parts and crash itself there nice is the steel sheet on heat pad no please clean nozzle for calibration click when done a sheet of paper under nozzle during the calibration of first four point if the nozzle Catches paper, power off the printer. Okay. I got a piece of paper here. Okay. Man, the Z axis movement are quite. It is so silent barely noticeable at all if I were to be in a 
toilet as well as the kitchen now calibrating for the height which is finding for the first four points and then it will I guess going for the um, skill correction calibration okay right now it is printing properly a 3d benchy as usual there 3d benchy and it is about close to 45 minutes of printing already and currently it is very silent the thing is the things noisy is about the print fan only the radio fan over there I try to run the temperature calibration the normal temperature calibration I think it's about the Pinda Pro temperature calibration but the problem is that um, my ambient temperature right now is about maybe around 30 degrees Celsius but the system needs about 21 to 26 degrees Celsius which is quite cold not at my place right now and it is printing smooth still shit and I guess it's a success of course well the only issue is the extruder cable there going into the INC rainbow case another is the um, ah yeah behind the X axis carriage there the cover there X carriage cover it's quite hard to assemble them anything else pretty much straightforward it is flat for this one as well the frame everything's looking good try the filament sensor it is turned on it detects the filament run out as well and during the printing earlier about 20 minutes ago if we go to the fail stats last print which is the current one it detected crash two times on the y-axis because I am running on normal mode this is the normal mode instead of stealth and yeah it's printing correctly if not it will have been some kind of layer shift on the y-axis so I'm going to wrap up the whole assembly took me well I started around 1 a.m. in the morning and I took a break around 9 a.m. in the morning Need, I had some sleep about 4 hours and continued on and the whole assembly process I think I'm going to wrap up around 10 hours yes 10 hours of um, assembly process so do check my videos somewhere in the video here my other videos as well recommended on the screen that you are seeing right now do like this video if you like it dislike if you don't do subscribe to me to support me more ah yeah right now it detects some crash crash detected there it auto homes x and then y and then continue on printing where was I? Yeah, subscribe to me to support my channel as well as my Patreon page for more. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.